Usually when a film doesn't do very well in theaters, the director always finds something to blame it on. Usually they find they they blame it on either the 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 audience being a bunch of sexist white men or something or they blame it on the the time of year that it came out and stuff like that. Um but we have here kind of a rare occasion where Simon Kinberg, the director of Dark Phoenix, puts the blame on himself, which is rare. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get into what he actually says. And uh, let me just preface this. I I did not like this movie at all. <laughs> Dark Phoenix was a pretty terrible movie. And um, yeah, I, I did not like this movie. I just didn't. There, there was not very much. Re there, was, there was hardly anything about this movie that was redeemable. Uh, it, was, it was just not good. So with that being said, I do respect what simon kinberg is uh what he says here in this quote so let's go ahead and get to it here so he starts off by saying uh kinberg made the comments when being interviewed by kcrw whatever the heck that is he stated that a number of problems blighted the release such as the summer release date which is kind of a typical blame uh for from movie directors i mean it's a valid one at some at sometimes and stuff but but yeah arguing that the film was wasn't made as a classic superhero movie it was made as a more of a dramatic intimate smaller film which personally you know i i like that i i want to see more superhero films that are kind of more dramatic intimate smaller films instead of the giant huge block bus, blockbuster destroy new york city uh, you know, every two seconds there's a new uh, CGI effect that just illuminates the entire screen type of movies. I'm not really, I've, I'm, I'm kind of getting sick of those types of movies, which is kind of one of the reasons why I appreciated Glass so much from earlier this year uh, from uh, M. Night Shyamalan, just because it was so, so different. And that's one of the reasons why I like the X-Men movies for the most part is because they are kind of more dramatic intimate and smaller movies instead of the huge explosion blockbuster type of movies that most superhero movies tend to be nowadays so that was not a complaint from me on my end for this movie i thought that that was good and i kind of liked the fact that's why i didn't like apocalypse that much it was because they were trying to go all out blockbuster type of movie and stuff and it just didn't work out so, that was not a complaint. I don't really see anyone making that a complaint for the movie. Um, so, I don't know where he's pulling that from. Um, it would have been better suited to its original release day of November last year. Which, you know, that, that could be. That could be. Um, he also commented that for a comic book movie, it was tough to be in the tailwinds of Avengers Endgame. Um, which, I don't know if that's a valid criticism because... Avengers Endgame has pretty much died off at this point as far as the box office goes. So I don't really think that that is a very valid criticism or reason. Uh, however, he conceded that liability for the film's failure lay with him, stating, It clearly is a movie that didn't connect with audiences that didn't see it. It didn't connect enough with audiences that did see it. So that's on me. I'm saying when a movie doesn't work, put it on me. I'm the writer director. The movie didn't connect with audiences. That's on me, which, you know, he deserves a round of applause for saying that he really does because most directors don't have the balls to, to come out and admit that the problem is, is, is on them. Most directors like to put the blame on other things. So I appreciate the fact that Simon Kinberg is coming out and saying this. I really do. I have a lot of respect for him now because of this. And I believe this is the first movie that he's ever made. So wherever he goes with his career from here on out, uh, it's going to be kind of hard to tell exactly because of how badly this movie performed. But at the same time, I will definitely be looking forward to whatever he does next. And I will be trying to, to support it and check it out because I appreciate directors who are willing to take the responsibility of the failures of their movies upon themselves. Um, especially since he's the writer and the director, you know? So, you know, um... I, I definitely do agree that that a lot of the problem was that the audience just didn't connect very well with this movie and that was because the movie is just so terrible uh it wasn't necessarily anything to do with necessarily um the uh i don't know what i'm trying to say here uh it was it was it was just because the writing was so bad there was a lot of things that i had issues with in this movie the third act was atrocious. The first, like, like I said in my review for the movie, the first, like, 15, 20 minutes of the movie were pretty good. I was actually pretty, 
pretty uh, pretty excited about where they were going with the movie up to that point, and then it just kind of fell apart after that. So, um, so yeah, I I don't know. I I, I respect the fact that that he came out and said this, and uh, I I just wanted to give him a shout out because of that because uh, most directors, <coughs> Ryan Johnson. <coughs> <laughs> I like to put the blame of the failures of the movies on everything else besides them. So, you know, congrats on that, uh, Simon. I really do appreciate that. And, uh, you know, I know this film didn't really work out for you, but I do wish you the best in your career moving forward. And, uh, you know, wherever you go, I will definitely be trying to look out for you. Um, hopefully you get another chance to make a movie. Um, because I know that this wasn't just your fault. It was a lot of it had to do with the studio as well. So the fact that you are taking the blame, despite the fact that the studio was being a complete idiot, uh, when it came to the making of this movie, uh, I appreciate that. So yeah, anyway, let me know in the comments below. What do you think about this whole mess? What do you think about what Simon Kinberg said here? Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then consider subscribing to the channel if you are not a subscriber. And with that being said, I will talk to you all very soon in another video. Talk to you later. Bye.